Hey, we're recording Scientific OSS project, and um, we are just having a brief meeting today because we're in the process of rescheduling uh, the cadence for this meeting. We'll start again on January 7th, and then every other week from then forward through time. And uh, the topic I was bringing up is, is this idea of research on research, open source software health, and you know, collectively bounding the problem, knowing that there are different metric thresholds in research and scientific OSS, and they are distinct from the corporatized world. And I think there are also, based on my own analysis, likely some uh, categories within scientific OSS. So I don't think research in scientific OSS is one thing. Uh, at least I've, I've heard different things about what people think it is. And one final thing I'll say before I shut up is I use the term research in scientific OSS because there is research open source software that may not uh, exist in a scientific domain. In other words, we find open source software in the humanities and other domains where uh, university folk do research. And so science, open source scientific software is not as encompassing an umbrella as open source research software. So uh, trying to softly adjust the logic that we use for um for talking about that i suppose you could say it sounds like a good direction forward uh, there is a tangential topic that i wanted to discuss yeah and that is when Melissa and I started this group. Melissa? Melissa and I started this group yeah. about the, like, almost two years ago. We set up this document on Chaos Repo. Oh. With <laughs> some uh, objectives and mission statement for the, uh, for the group. Yeah, do you have that? To... Yes, I'm sharing oh. the link in the chat. Oh, oh yeah, I, I see it right now. Yeah. I'm going to add it to the meeting and notes as well. And I thought it would be, it's been a while. I, I, yeah. I, I think we all agree that the focus uh, has shifted. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should revisit what, uh, you know, what the mission should be. And uh, I don't know. If we want to keep the document or we, we can i mean just... i i think it's a pretty it looks like a pretty simple document comparatively honestly um so i think i think we could um just at, edit it you know we could update it with the existing things and then as we do different projects, possibly share information like the data science working group does through our repository. Yes, and I, I feel this would also help new members. I had the interactions uh, outside of our meetings with some new members uh, who were curious about the objectives of this group. Yeah. It would be nice to have a document where they are summarized. Yeah, I certainly agree with that. Uh, I think I think having that that group purpose summarized is very helpful and and possibly would lead to uh, fewer existential conversations uh, about the group. I think I think what's distinct about this group from the university group is that in this case we're really talking about. Um, the health and sustainability of open source scientific and research software. And I think in the university group, it the conversations often center more around the management of a portfolio within a university, um, which is adjacent, of course, but certainly not exactly the same work. Yes, I mean to join other groups, but with my work schedule, it proves to be yeah. difficult to be in the coming year. Yeah, it's impossible to join all the fun and awesome chaos groups. I And thank you for bringing up the original purpose of the working group. I think when we restart in January, it makes um, good sense to revisit that. 
and also check in with the members that are active in the project or in the in the working group what they want to get out of it so that we capture that based on the people who are actually engaged in doing things yeah and i think i think this research on open source research software is kind of the direction that the people who have been coming are interested in um that doesn't prevent us from changing the scope um, in, in a larger discussion. I, I missed a few meetings, but I see John from OSI has been joining consistently. It makes me happy that mm -hmm. uh, I introduced him to this group and it proves to be like a nice synergy between what he's working uh, like under the umbrella of NumFocus and uh, we are working on here. Yeah, and I, I, so I will, since it's a small group, I'll say that Jonathan's working on, uh, he's got a working group organized, I'm sure, as you know, Anessa, around the tool uh, that he's developed, which is like a network analytic sort of tool for open source. And uh, he's also working on the development of a workshop that would be in Denver in the fall of 2025, I think. Um, so that's that's some work that I think is happening that Jonathan brings uh, sort of socializes in this group typically. I see. Yeah, so uh, I, I, would, I hope the next meeting will be we'll have more members and we can bring. Yeah. Focus on. Yeah, I think I think uh, obviously for this rescheduling or re recalibrating our cadence, uh, because we were we we're getting we lost a couple of people from Oak Ridge because of a conflict, and it took us a while to diagnose that problem. And so this re or this rescheduling is kind of to accommodate some core members that had been unable to participate a couple months this fall. So just trying to that's that's why we moved. Uh, for me personally, this is a better time slot. It, the other one worked for a while until it didn't, and I didn't want to ask everyone to change their schedules because mine changed. Uh, but uh, this change is very much welcome. Hopefully, yeah, I won't have any uh, edits to my schedule in the coming month. Yeah, we all hope for that. That's good to hear. I'm curious um, if you have a conference schedule already lined up for next year. I saw ChaosCon is returning to Brussels. Yeah, I don't know that we have a shared list of conferences. I see them come up like Dawn is really good about putting reminders into the meeting minutes for different working groups. And like, for example, I know the ChaosCon deadline is coming up January 17th, should probably uh, Note that here. Oops, I can't type. I will be at Gale in Pasadena at the beginning of March. Well, that's already on my schedule after Chaos Con Fosdem. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, there's a lot of folks that go to scale. I've I've been to scale. It's not one that I usually go to, but I have gone in the past. And um, it looks like it's affiliated with the Linux Foundation. Is it? Um, yes. Scale is uh, independent. So this is the South California Linux experience. I forgot what that stands for. Expo. Yeah, um, I think yeah, I think LF sponsors it on some level though, to Anessa's point. But you're right, it's not an LF event, hmm. which is an entirely different kind of thing that LF events team manages for some group. Oh, I see. I'm I'm looking at the website, and Scale is the largest community-run open source and free software conference in North America. So it sounds like it's uh, equivalent <laughs> North American equivalent of FOSDEM. 
Yes, it, similar. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Cool. I, yeah, I, it may, I never heard of it. It may aspire to that. I think it struggles to attain the same vibe because it's located in Pasadena. <laughs> I'm going to look at it. I I'm not sure if I will go to Fosdem next year. I I, I <coughs> love going to Brussels and to Fosdem. I I really like uh, to expand my knowledge beyond the Python uh, ecosystem. Uh, however, it's um, it's it's far from where I live, uh, so it's a, it's a big commitment and it's a bit disruptive to my work schedule. It's my uh, traveling to conferences is not part of my work nowadays. Yeah, yeah. So not sure. I I'm very tempted, but uh, I haven't made the firm commitment yet. I'm also hoping next year to expand my list of conferences because I for the past five years I've been going to the same conferences and I, said, and I love it but I time know. to branch out possibly yes. <laughs> yeah I'm also going to branch out next year yeah same same issue I'm going to the Linux Foundation member summit scale um FOSDEM chaos con the Linux Foundation open source summit Europe Open Source Summit, North America, All Things Open. I've been going to the same open source events. And I think next year I'll go a little bit into the crypto space and think about consensus, I think in Toronto. And then um, maybe automobile because we are looking to work with automotive companies so it'll be an interesting journey. Yeah, I, I give you all credit. I, I just hope to try to start to get back to some of the academic conferences that I used to participate in before the pandemic. Um, I have found it difficult to get re-engaged in them because I've just been doing this chaos work for so long and um, yeah, I'm just kind of in chaos land now, completely different publication outlets. <clears throat> one of the conferences i'm hoping to make it for the first time next year is all things open i hear great things about it but haven't had a chance to go there yet yeah, i hear nothing but great things about all things open all things open and it's always like the fall has member summit and usually at least one other conference for me and that like a third one when i'm teaching gets to put pressure in my life. So sometimes that's hard uh, to pull off. So, yeah. And the member summit is moving into the spring next year. Oh, is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, the LF really has done a terrible job of emerging from the, uh, in my opinion, they haven't done a great job of emerging with any consistency around their events from the pandemic. Like there doesn't even seem to be an attempt that consistency, which kind of makes it harder to plan. So like, is, are they going to have one in spring of 2025, Georg? Yes, I think in March is the next member summit. Oh. Well, that is curious. Well, um, I've been an organizer of the SciPy conference for the past uh, five years. I mm -hmm. can tell you that if you want some stability, consider going to the SciPy conference, and then you never have to worry <laughs> what you're doing in the second, third week of July. Huh. <laughs> and yeah, next week will be in Seattle, uh, in Tacoma, again. Wow, cool. Yeah, thanks for the invite. And while in Tacoma, you if you're into wilderness, uh, the uh, the trails uh, in the northwest are beautiful. We we did the hike this year, and I'm definitely doing it again next year. Excellent.
All right, well, I don't have anything else on the agenda that we haven't covered, and I know, Anessa, you have a hard stop at the bottom of the hour, so if we have nothing yes. else to talk about, I can uh, just say thank you all, and we will have a more complete meeting on the 7th of January. Sounds yeah. good. Well, great Thanks. to see you all. I great to you see you. Holidays. Yep, you too. Thank and you. And I will see everyone after the break. See you soon. All right. Bye-bye.